Hey, yeah, uh, what's up? This is Cypher Marshall Occurrence Rain back up in this anti Illuminati all day, anti America all day. So, <clears throat> this message is going to be about the beginning of the, uh, the slave trade coming from Africa across the Atlantic Ocean over here to America, right? Particularly that one. Okay. Um, I just want I just want I just want um especially young people most older people know the whole story but I just want young people uh even some uneducated people people that may have just forgot you know that you know you know African Americans being brought over here f to America had help from African chiefs and masters this has to be said this has to be said because the way the way the pictures are painted in the movies and the way people, a lot of preachers tell it, a lot of ministers tell it, a lot of uh, leaders tell it, is that you would think that the white man went over to Africa and just strong armed everybody and 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 and, and he just took over, <laughs> like he just went and got what was his and he just he just took them and all them people. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. He ain't have no resistance. That's the seven. He ain't have no resistance. Nobody. He had. No, he didn't face no African resistance. How is that even possible? They're on his. They're on African land. These men are twice their size. Yeah, that part matters. That part matters. And he just. And he's probably what between what five nine and six two at best. And you got these guys I know in Africa that were, at that time was what? 6'4", 6'2", and 6'3", on the average. And he just came over there and just took them. Use your brain. Physically speaking, the Africans was already superior to them. That's a seven. How he gonna come over there and do that? All the whole nation? It doesn't even add up. What happened was, I'm saying it like that, what happened was the African chief sold them into slavery. He sold us into slavery. So we were sold out from the very beginning. And you'll say, Marcella, why is this part important? It's important for you to understand that a human, for the reasons of human nature. We ain't never, in the human nature, human, it's always been a dog eat dog world but among every community and people. Because the way most African Americans painted here in America. Oh, oh, yeah, we we're humble people. We we you know we we let's get back to when we was in unity. Okay, when when were we when were when were we in unity? From the very beginning, again, African chiefs sold us into slavery. Literally, they sold us out <laughs> onto the Atlantic Ocean. On over here into America. They sold us out on into the ocean. Literally. Okay? And if you don't, if you don't mention that part, here's the here's the thing. If you don't mention that part, you miss a big uh, uh the main understanding of human nature. You miss understanding human nature. When you don't mention the part that the African chiefs sold us into slavery. I know you want to paint the picture like the white man just did it on his own. But this is key information. Oh, it ain't key information that the African chiefs sold us into slavery. That's not key information. That's a whole that's a whole different story from the one you painted. You painted like as if he just came over there and just and he just did it all on his own. That's a that's a that's a definition. And then you have the African chief not even caring about you being his own blood and just putting you on the boats. That's a whole definition too. And that's the real definition. That's the real story. So it helps you see we ain't never been together. That you need to take note of that white people, because some of y'all don't know this part either. Take note that we ain't never been together while you trying to wonder who's racist among us. While you wondering if I'm a racist. Take the, take heed to this information. 
We ain't never been together. We've been selling each other out from the very beginning. African cheese sold my family, my family over here, and that's how I got here. Okay? Almost like the Joseph story. Joseph in the Bible was sold into slavery by his brothers. Right or wrong? What's the difference? And then I rise up to power and you think I'm supposed to help you. That's a seven. Well, everybody ain't Joseph now, are they? I'm Marcello. I'm not Joseph. I'm not Daniel either. See, we need, see, when they, when they, when they make these movies, go look at all the movies about slavery. Go look at all the movies about slavery. They ain't showing you that the African chiefs sold you, sold your family into slavery. This is important information, right or wrong. Do you agree that this is important information? This is important with defining how it happened. That's a seven. Because you don't reprogram yourself from the real reality. You 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 think in your mind he went over there with boats and just like pulled up like pirates. <laughs> That's a seven. You acting like the white man pulled up like pirates. That's not how it happened. That's not the real history. The real history is he pulled up and, and, and put up and pulled out money and and, and, and uh and tricked off and got us all over here. Huh? That's how it happened. He tricked off with the African chief and got us over here. And until you paint that real picture for what it is, you're going to have people thinking that the white man done it all by himself single-handedly. That's a seven. He had help. And guess where the help came from? African chiefs who was over your family. The leaders over your family is the reason why you're here now in America. If you're wondering why you're in this strange land, leaders over your family uh, worked with, co-labored with the white man to bring you over here. That's why you're here. That's part of the story, whether you want to accept it or not. Yeah, you don't want to accept that part. That's why you haven't been incorporating that part. That's a seven. You got these daisy flower stories, daisy flower perspectives of, of the community that you come out of. And before the end of time, that's why it's all coming out now. Because before the end of time, everybody going to know the truth. You want to know the truth? We're going to know the truth about everything then. You want to open the books of truth? And we doing it on everything. We're going to feed you the truth to you regurgitate it. To you vomit and regurgitate the truth. I'm going to feed you so much truth until you regurgitate it. Yeah, you walk around here like you want to you politic. Okay, you're going to politic about everything. About African chiefs selling us and selling our families into slavery. Go talk about that. Because that's, that's, that's part of the story. You want to sit back and act like the white man just went over there like pirates. That's not how it happened. We were sold into slavery and our families were turned, they, they, their value was turned into peanuts in the pockets of African chiefs. African chiefs set up like fat cats after your family went off on ships. He probably didn't even watch long, did he? He probably watched for like 10, 15 minutes and turned his back and took his money. Keep it 100. That's probably what he did. And before the sun set, some of our ancestors were jumping off the ship and rather died. They were jumping in the ships. You jumping off the ships into the ocean. You know some of those bones are probably still in the ocean. Now it's something to think about. It probably is. You know how they got there? The African chiefs helped 
them get into the ocean like that and that and that fate. They 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 help that happen. Because see, what we have in this American community are African American uh sympathizers. And see, people like me, the white people, the Mexican people, you think that I am the racist. No, I am the truth teller. That's what I am. But because you are not really black, listening on the outside, saying things you can't say because you're not black, you don't realize I'm a truth teller. That's a seven. Because you can't say the truth. That's a seven. Because they won't let you. That's a seven. They ain't going to let you do it. So when you see me do it, you think I'm racist. Well, you can't talk about Af- African chiefs selling Africans into slavery. Now, can you, if you're white, can you talk about it? You think anybody going to stomach you talking about it? You think anybody going to stomach a Mexican talking about it? Don't think so. So just understand African-American sympathists, people that sympathize with African-Americans. Just understand you can't do what I do. You literally cannot do it. So you're, 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 so you're listening from I can't do it ears. That's the ears you're listening from. You can't do this because you're not part of the community. You got that part? Okay, man, good. Let's separate the men from the boys. I can do what you can't do. If you're Mexican and white, you can't do this. Okay, and you and you and you think you're aiding African Americans. You ain't aiding nobody. You all you're aiding is more problems. When you you don't even know the whole story of your damn self. The African chiefs had help, uh, helped the white man come bring us over here. This is the the definition of how it happened. Not part of it. This is the defining part of the slave, the African getting here to America. This is part of the definition. That's why I told you Mexicans, stay out of this. Stay out of the war that's going on because it's too complex for you to even understand. And I'm not saying you don't have the ability to understand, but you're just now popping up. That part, that's a seven. You're just now popping up. Where you come from? That's what we're wondering. <laughs> you a little too late, buddy. We've been we've been we've been in a sophisticated, complex war for a very long time, and you want to pop up and think you can uh just uh determine things in a matter of months and years. Sorry, sorry, sorry. See, your problem is you sat back and thought you just mind your business and stay in your community. And you didn't know, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't care about the wars that were going on in America. Not but look, if we if you are concerned, we see your whole community, right or wrong. So when these police shootings and all of this stuff happen all over the country, we don't see a Mexican present presence, do we? Now that the world is ending, now you want to pull up. Now you want to change things and get involved, and it's too late. So I'm sorry that you have plans. For your community, you have plans for the Mexican American community being uh, dominant in the country and being flourished in your country. I'm sorry, you you guys are all in this situation, but the pro- but I'm, I can't totally apologize because you should have been more diligent about seeing the state of the country that you came in, or that you were born into. You don't supposed to just sit around any country not knowing what's really going on. Okay, there are things that they tell you that's going on, and then there are things that are really going on. They tell you this is going on. I'm telling you this is going on. And it's it's up to you and your family, the men of your community, to be diligent about knowing the state of the country that they're living in. See, what you just did, what you did was you decided not to be involved. What you did was not pay attention to how the white man separated you from us. Oh, long as you ain't with them niggas, we'll give you everything you want. That's what the and then that's what you did. He to, he 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 influenced you to mind your business and stay out of it. That's what he told you to do. 
Because you don't voucher for us, do you? I've been telling you guys this. The Mexican-American community are not involved in the wars that really define what's going on at, at all times. Whatever the present time is, they're not involved in the current war, the, pre, the present war. Never, ever. Go back years and years and see, okay? As a f collective community, they have not been involved in our wars. So how can they define what happens? That part. I'm sorry to tell you, you pulled up too late. That's it's just as simple as that. That's a sit that if I can if you didn't hear anything else, hear that part. You pulled up too late. Okay? Uh, and it's a lot of people you just don't know what's going on. So I'm here to 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 let me make this clear also. A lot of these videos are because it is the last days. We want the truth to come out about everything everything in this country and in the world. So it's not a matter of, oh, how do we apply this music, this uh, video? How how do we apply this information? Some, it, it, you know, um, it's always applicable to oneself and one because it's information. It's always applicable because information is just, you know, it's applicable. It's applicable to your, to your, to your, uh, to the archives of your mind. It's always, I mean, it's, it, you know, you need to store, you need to store information in your mind. So it's always, uh, in that sense, it's always applicable. Okay. It will help you see things clearly, help you navigate clearly. What I would tell you from knowing about the African chiefs selling us into slavery, what it will help you see is, is that we ain't never been for each other. So the pressure is off to act like, oh, uh, to, to, uh, we, we got to, uh, create some kind of unity. We ain't never had it. We have never had it. We got here from African chiefs. Africans brought us here. How you want me, how, how else you want me to put it? Africans help you get here. If you, if you didn't come, if your family, if you trace your DNA and bloodline, when you take them DNA tests and you find out that you you were uh your family migrated here that's a different situation i'm talking about people who like me that are true descendants of slavery we were brought here my family was brought here my ancestors were brought here because the african chiefs sold us here otherwise other word other um in in, in other situations we would have been they would have had to go to war with my ancestors. They didn't have to do that. They did not have to go to war. Because everybody sits back like victims. I'm not sitting back like a victim. I'm sitting back like a victor. Because <laughs> how I see it is, just like everybody say, if you if somebody owe me, I ain't never broke. I ain't never broke. You people owe me. You owe me for all the labor that my parents did for free. Oh, yeah, it sounds crazy to you until it's your family. Yeah. And that's all I, you know, I really want to, uh, you know, stress because, you know, people sit back and like, you know, you can't pull no wool over my eyes like we all together. Or, or, or you acting like you different, you indifferent towards black people. Well, I know the whole story. <laughs> Maybe I know the whole story. Maybe you don't. Maybe you're one of those those African American sympathists that sympathize, and you try to go fight people and weed out racist white people and racist other racist people, and you white, and you out here trying to do that. You know the best way you can help us? You can go get money. That's what you can go you can do. Go get bags. That's what you want to. You want to help us? Go get bags. Stop trying to run around here in politics and in, 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 in trying to, uh, and you're investigating in the social aspect of it all. You need to go get bags. That's what you need to do. Because that's what these wars are out here, these real wars, not these not these fake wars. These real wars about all about money. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. And until you realize that, until you realize that, you're going to be sitting back, you're going to be sitting back 
testing people, trying people, trying to see what people's heart is. You don't need to see what my heart is. See what they heart at. And that's then you'll see what my heart is. Make sense? Make sense to me. Go see the state of the country, in other words, then you'll understand the state of my heart. Because it's dog eat dog out here. It ain't it, 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 it. I can tell you all the wrong that's been done to me by the hands of other African Americans. I had an African American man tell me to go back to my own home country. Because I'm part Asian. I'm, I'm two parts Asian, South American, four types of European, four types of African. I'm South Italian and Greek as well. Okay? DNA, DNA tests for the less sophisticated people of the world. There are DNA tests that are scientifically proven to, to show you your, your bloodlines. We're not all from the same bloodlines. We're not all South American. Now, South American may have African in them, but you may not have South American in you. See the difference? See the difference? And that does not make us one and the same. It's good for you to know these things so that you know your vibration. See, some people think you say this thing, oh, you think you better than everybody else. No, I think I'm trying to find out my vibration. That's a seven. Because each bloodline and each ethnicity comes with a unique vibration. Do, do Asians act like white people? You ever seen Asians that act like white people? Okay, then. That's a vibration. That's two different vibrations. You don't see Asians walking around acting like white people, do you? Do you see white people acting like Asians? Do they carry themselves and walk and talk and gesture like Asians? They do not, do they? Okay, then, what does that tell you? You need to find out your vibration if you're here in America. You walking around here in the melting pot, and you got all this blood in you, different bloods, and you can't even hardly tell who you are. You need to go check your, your vibration so you know what vibration you are. If you don't do it for any other reason... Do it to, 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 to told, accurately define your vibration. That's what you need to do it for. Because people will sit up and say, well, 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 you, you must think you're better. As soon as I, st- I tell people, because I know who I am. Why? Because I know who I am. Yeah, I'm aware of who I am. Of four different types of African, four different types of European, South American and Asian. Okay? We are not all Asian and we're not all South American. I just defined who I am. Now you need to go find who define who you are, who you uniquely are. Okay? That's some homework for you. But meanwhile, I gotta keep it 100 about this. These African cheese came, they helped the white man. They negotiated. They didn't care that that was your blood, that was your family. They didn't care if it was their blood. They didn't care if he was different. They didn't care what he was going to do with them. And he did, he did horrific things with our ancestors. He raped them. He killed them. He did everything with them. He did everything possible. And he had help from Africans. That's the bottom line. He had help from Africans. And you need to hear it just like that. And what I wish is they they would do a whole movie on that. I don't want to see the part where they get to America in this movie. I don't want to see that part. I done seen it a million times. I don't want to see that part. I want to I want a whole movie showing how the African chief really is and how he interacts with his community. And then the end of the movie is going to be when he sells us sells our ancestors off into slavery. And the credits start rolling after you see the ships on the on the Atlantic Ocean. That's when the that's when the credits come in. I want it to end right there. That need to be a movie. Yes, you need to see how he sold us into slavery. Yeah, is this the truth or not? Oh, okay. You forgive that. You forgive slavery. You don't forgive slavery. But you forgive the African chief who knew you the most. He knew you better than everybody. He should have loved you as your leaders better than everybody. But he didn't, did he? He went after the money. 
He sold your family into slavery. I want a whole movie on it. I want a whole movie on it. I, I want to see. I want to see it. I want to see it visually. And it's important. It's an important message. You want to push the message of slavery and how that happened? Then you need to push the whole message of slavery and how it happened. The whole message is African chiefs took mere money and gave and, and for for and sold your family off for mere money and they went off on the boats. They left the, the beach the beach fronts based off the African chiefs selling you your family into slavery. This is the real definition guys because you sitting back acting like Who's a sellout? This a person to sell out, that person to sell out. Maybe I'm a sellout to you. Well, guess who sold us all out? Guess how we got here? We got here by sellouts. This is how we got here. We, You wouldn't even be here if it wasn't no such thing of a sellout. Oh, you don't want to hear it like that, do you? You want to blame the white man for the whole thing. He should have. If, if I was white, I would have been spoke up for myself. Hey, I had help. <laughs> I would have been spoke up for myself and my family. I would say, hey, hold, hold up a minute. <laughs> I would say, hey, hold up a minute. Last time I checked, African chiefs had help to help my ancestors bring us you over here. And what and what what can somebody say? What can you say if you black? If a white person tell you that, hey, my ancestors had help from your ancestors. We didn't just go over there and go to war with them. We had they had help your your ancestors, your the leaders of your community sold them off. That's how you got here. And what they gonna say there? You can you can punch them, you can fight them when they tell you that, but it's the truth. Couldn't be me. I would have been spoke up for myself. But see, the whole point is you'll say, Well, doc, disciple Marcella, what's the whole what what's what you what you getting at? What I'm getting at, man. Is 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 ain't no ain't no holy people. Ain't no righteous blood. Ain't no righteous race of people. Ain't no people out here uh just doing all good for everybody. Ain't no uh uh because you start painting this holy Nubian image and I'm a, I'm shoot I'm I'm not I'm I want I want the real image to be seen. Not this holy Zion Nubian Im image and it's not it's fictitious to a degree it's fictitious to a degree when the African chiefs being regal and you know all of this right through all of that sold you into slavery you see what I'm saying so in, uh, in so, so we were selling each other out from the very beginning you want to talk about sellouts we were selling each other out from the very beginning. And people need to hear it. They need to hear it just like that. Now, was the African chief racist against his own people? I would not think so. But 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 we ain't for each other and we're not for each other's well-being. And we never really have been for each other's well-being from the very beginning. You are here as a result of Africans not being for each other's well-being. That's a seven. Well, if Africans cared about your ancestors' well-being, you wouldn't be here. They would rather have died. And we wouldn't have made it across the ocean, now would we? If you did, you can't even make it across the ocean. If you went to war and you died, you didn't make it, you ain't gonna make it across the ocean, buddy. So the truth needs to be told so that we can see human nature and we can stop holding people to these fake standards of unity that we've never had. Okay? We've never had them. That's my point. You need to know this. And and I talk to I talk I talk to people. I talk to I talk to I every time I've talked to uh black people about this and I say 
if you think if we were slave masters, will we have say will we have brought white people into slavery? You know what black people tell me? No, because we're more humble. We're more humble by nature. We wouldn't have sold ourselves. We wouldn't have sold white men into slavery. Okay, but the African chiefs did that. So you tell me what's happening. The African chiefs sold us into slavery. But you say, if we were in slave, if we were masters, if we were the superiors in the world as far as money and power and war and, and, and weapons, you say we wouldn't have sold white people. We wouldn't have enslaved white people. But we, we, but we helped enslave ourselves, though. The African chiefs helped enslave us. So you don't think he's going to enslave white people if he's more superior? And he done sold his own people out. I think whoever's on top, I don't care what color they are. There is human nature from history to enslave whoever is the weakest. To enslave them financially, physically, every way. Enslaving the weakest is human nature. It ain't got nothing to do with race. It's 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 like a it's like the jungle, just like animals. The, the the strongest is going to thrive and strive over the weaker. That's all that happened to us. We were less advanced. They were more advanced. They 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 they, they uh, dominated over us. Now. Racism is a byproduct of slavery. The white man didn't just say instantly as soon as he seen them, those are niggers. Let's get them. Did the white man say that as soon as he saw us? He did not say that. Sla ra listen closely. Racism, the white racism from white America 